You okay? No. My my mom decides for me to have a period at the age of seven. What is it, Andy? Pardon? When are you coming home? I think I started my period. I mean, oh, God damn it. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Couples Prank YouTube. Once again, holding the crown year after year for consistently being the most vapid, contrived, obnoxious, exploitative pile of shit on YouTube. Quite frankly, I've grown to love it. I mean, it's essentially just a battle royale of a bunch of young, fit couples to see who will employ the most shameless, obnoxious tactics to win the game of YouTube and in turn, win the hearts of millions of young, brain-dead children who don't know any better. Not a single shred of authenticity on these channels, and that doesn't matter because authenticity doesn't equal money. Views equals money, and you get views by using your seven-year-old niece to do a prank slash skit about getting her first period in front of your boyfriend. And if you're really good at the game, it, you don't even think twice about posting something like this. It doesn't even cross your mind that maybe this is fucking weird and we shouldn't post this because you're thinking views and money. That's that's how you know you're good at the game. And and and, and by that metric, Ryan and Danielle, <laughs> and by that metric, Ryan and Danielle are killing it. So a screenshot of this video popped up on my Twitter feed the other day, and I took the bait like an idiot. I know what I'm getting myself into when I do that, so I go over their channel just because sometimes I need a refresher uh, to remind myself how bad I fucking hate this kind of shit on YouTube. Uh, so let's look. I mean, let me get my glasses. Why don't let's just see what uh, some of the ideas they're doing here. Ignore my girlfriend for 24 hours, an absolute staple on couples YouTube. I caught my girlfriend kissing my best friend, absolute classic. Pregnancy prank on boyfriend, I cried. Would not be couples channel without exploiting pregnancy. Having another girl's lipstick mark on me prank on girlfriend. What the hell is that? What's what? What is that? What is that? What is that? Stop. Okay, okay, okay. This is kind of embarrassing. What is that, Ryan? Is that another girl's uh, lipstick on your face? Oh my God, Ryan. Cheating with the door lock prank on girlfriend, of course. Yep, what's up? What are you doing? Open the door. Hold on, one sec, sorry. Open the door. Just give me one sec, babe, I'm sorry, one sec. Babe, you just did a breakup prank on me. I was just trying to get you back. So you want to cheat with my best friend? Look. I mean, we've seen it a million times. It's the same recycled bullshit skits and just a different attractive couple executing them poorly. So I spent a little time perusing the catalog, getting to know Ryan and Danielle a little bit. Par for the course, really. Large majority of it's just these skits that are hypersexualized cock teases. So the 13 year old virgins stay and watch the whole video to give them the watch time. You got the fake pregnancy stuff, which is, uh, you know, pregnancy's a cash cow. And then for whatever reason, these menstruation pranks are popular amongst couples YouTubers. For some reason, that's whatever until you start bringing in seven-year-olds. And it feels a little, oh, it feels a little weird, doesn't it? Uh, but at the very least, they're attractive and well-groomed. Uh, and we're gonna jump into this wasteland. But speaking of well-groomed, it was such a coincidence. I have a well-groomed version of Leon here to talk about today's video sponsor uh, before we continue. Dollar Shave Club is a longtime partner of my channel and a company that I've used for even longer, going on almost five years now. And I love it because I don't have to go anywhere else to stay looking like a whole ass snack. And the products show up on your doorstep so you never have to leave the house, which is kind of frowned upon right now anyways. Coronavirus! Whether you're showering Showering, scrubbing your teeth, or mitigating your stank ass armpits, Dollar Shave Club has you covered for all of your grooming needs. Their Ultimate Shave Starter Kit comes juiced with their executive razor handle and blades, as well as their Dr. Carver's Prep Scrub, Shave Butter, and Post Shave Dew. It really heightens the shaving experience and gives you a precise, clean shave that leaves your skin hydrated and cool. Now, the Prep Scrub is a newer weapon in my grooming arsenal, and I'm loving it because it exfoliates all the dead skin cells and helps prevent and relieve ingrown hairs, which look absolutely awful when you get them. It's the perfect gift for dad, who's probably still shaving with a pair of rusty scissors, but frankly, it's the perfect gift to yourself. And by supporting Dollar Shave Club, you're helping support YouTubers like myself. And for that, I'm very grateful. So for five bucks, you can get started with their Ultimate Shave Starter Set. And might I suggest throwing in some butt wipes in the cedar wood bar soap, because I can smell your stank ass from here. You just head to dollarshaveclub.com slash Leon Lush to get started today, and then send me a thank you letter in about a month when you realize what you've been missing out on. I appreciate you. So if we travel back in time about a year, we can find one of Ryan and Danielle's breakout videos, the I have a kid prank on boyfriend cutest reaction. And say that she is my kid and that I've been hiding it from her. We talked about telling you, but I haven't had the chance to yet. I had a kid six years ago. 
Hey guys, what's up? It's Danielle and Jasmine. This is my niece. Back at you with another <laughs> Anytime you can pull in a young niece or nephew to be in on the skit with you, that's going to increase your chances of going viral like 300%. This is a great move for Ryan and Danielle. I had a kid six years ago. Also, the movie trailer stabs are so fire! They make anything dramatic, anything. It doesn't matter what it is. For instance, Nigel, about 15 minutes ago, I tried to fart without you noticing and I accidentally pooped a little bit in my pants. Can, can I taste it? Yeah, I guess if you want. Bet, just let me grab the hot sauce real quick. I have to tell you something. So six years ago, you know, before I knew you, I had something happen to me. With another person. So it happened with another person, like Jasmine said. And it's kind of crazy. <laughs> um, I had a kid six years ago. So she goes on to explain that that's not her niece, it's actually her daughter who she had when she was 14 and she's been keeping it from him. In Ryan's defense here, not defense, but just to his credit, like not a bad actor uh, for this type of skit. And the young and the young girl here kind of really pulls it off nicely too. How do you feel? So you're telling me that every time I give her feedback or put her on the shoulders or walk with her, hold her hand, anything, it could potentially be my daughter. Yes. And you never told me this. No, because I don't want you to freak out. Now that we've been together for a year. Thank ya! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm good you know pretty harmless stuff they seem like a cute enough couple slash family i'm not, not a family but for whatever reason the youtube algorithm absolutely loved it uh crushing seven million views in a year and reaffirming to these two that you know what couples pranks is the route to go if you want to blow up on youtube which it is for a lot of people make sure to hit the what scrappy bobby Button. Scrappy Bobby button. And make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already. And you have okay. three seconds to turn your post notifications. Only three? And three. Wait, what? Fuck. Shit, fuck, oh, where is it? On a dog dog piss! Three seconds is not a lot of time. I couldn't find it. That was too quick. And now I feel like I've let them down. Maybe that's how you do it. Maybe that's how you get people to turn on post notifications. In fact, you guys have three seconds to hit post notifications on this video. Go! Three, two, one, go! Oh, you fucking blew it! Oh, I know you didn't get it that fast. Listen, I'll give you a pass this one time, but the next time I tell you to turn on post notifications in three seconds, you better fucking do it or it's not gonna be pretty. This is so not funny. This guy was so supportive. He doesn't deserve to be treated like this. Don't worry, Priyanka. He probably wrote the script. Boyfriend rates my hottest bikinis. You see, this is what I was talking about earlier with the, the hypersexualized content. It's basically just 13 minutes of her making what should be OnlyFans content and Ryan sitting there like he gives a fuck about the style of her bikinis. Sorry, gents. We're not gonna be watching this one today. As you know this is a Christian Minecraft server where only the sickest pranks and abusive relationships between a human and a primate are allowed. Honestly, I kind of want to do a segment called If YouTube Titles Were Honest. This one I would immediately change from Boyfriend Rates My Hottest Bikinis to something more along the lines of Boyfriend pretends to give a shit about my bikinis so I can put my TNA on blast for 13 straight minutes so the young males in our audience can get their jollies without jeopardizing their browser history in case mom and dad are monitoring it through the router. It's a long title, but it's honest. Now, more recently, within the last month, they uh, delivered some pregnancy-related content, which is always good for clicks, so I want to show you how they executed that. They did a live stream called Danielle Might Actually Be Pregnant, thumbnail with her, uh, his hand on her stomach, the thumbs up. All right, because we're, we're excited. Uh, so it's basically 22 minutes of nothing, but here's a couple of key points. If you guys can't tell, she still is. If you guys have watched the last couple of videos of ours, you guys can tell that she hasn't been doing the best. She's been pretty nauseous, and uh, it, it's been definitely something that we've talked about. You want to say it together? Do you, want, do you want to say it together? Do you want to say it? <laughs> you what is, say it. Should we say it? Okay. Did we say we, it? Should we tell we them? We do think she is pregnant. We think, we think she's, she's pregnant. pregnant we think she's pregnant. That's incredible. We're, we're Why, Ryan? Why do you think she's pregnant? Of course, you've taken the necessary steps to ensure that that's correct before trying to inform your audience of hundreds of thousands of people that your girlfriend is in fact pregnant. That's huge fucking news. That's a life-changing event. Of course, you've done uh, the research to make sure it's actually true, right? She wanted to do it on a video, but I said, I want to do this on a stream. Let's just make this for real, for real. And uh, 
Yeah, I'm just really excited. If you guys can't talk, I'm just really excited. We think she has something called, what is it, chronic morning? It's just morning sickness. But did you say like chronic? There's like a, a worse one. There's a worse one? Yeah, so. What the fuck are they talking about? Let me save you a, a little bit of time. What they're fumbling to say is that she felt nauseous a few times, which as you know, can be one of the many symptoms of early pregnancy. Surely there must be some other indicator. You are just chatting away. I am because I'm excited. No, the only reason that we think that I am is because I missed my period. Okay, now we're talking. You missed your period. That can definitely be an indicator, especially for someone who doesn't typically miss it. Which sometimes I do. Sometimes my periods are really weird and I miss them sometimes. Oh. So it's almost like putting tuition, I guess, in a way. I guess so. She, she's just not feeling great. Well, are you excited? Are you nervous? I don't know. I, we don't know yet. I know. Ryan's just getting himself worked up. I just get excited. Surely you have at least taken a goddamn pregnancy test. Tell me that much. We, yeah. We don't want to take a text, test yet because we think she might be, what, too, like, soon into it, right? Is that what you're saying? Too soon. Hmm? You were me the other day, you're like, it might be, like, too soon. Might be too soon to take a pregnancy test if you miss your period. Pain, I can't get enough pain. Have you had cravings? Oh, yeah, have you had cravings? No, I haven't really had cravings, but I think that's just because I'm, like, not actually pregnant. I haven't missed my period. Wait, what? We've been talking about this for, like, I haven't missed my period. I've been feeling sick, yes, but I haven't missed my period. Well, <laughs> you're still sick, though. I'm still sick. So technically, I... you told me you missed your period. <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to do this. <laughs> I still don't feel good, though. So, I mean... So there's a chance. I gotta be honest, I didn't make it this far into the live stream when I was initially prepping for the video, and now I, I don't know what's worse, them being like ignorant and naive to make this video, uh, really thinking she's pregnant, uh, those indicators we're talking about, or the fact that she, like they did this on purpose, I, I fucking think, you got me, you got me, oh Jesus, sick prank bro. Oh. You had I mean I've been... already taken a test and it said no. <laughs> what? Yeah. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> yeah, because you thought I like you. You kept talking about how you thought I was, and so I took one, and then I wanted to do this. I felt really bad, but you were just like I wanted to go on stream because I was excited. I want to share with everyone now. I, I just know, but I told you from the start we should just do a video. I told you it wasn't a good idea. Oh man! What a magnificent way to bastardize one of like the most prolific moments in many people's lives, especially people that are like struggling to get pregnant and like really want to start a family and can't to like take such a magical moment and just shit all over it. Seems very weird. They're kids, they don't care. They're just trying to get YouTube views. Surely they've concluded this fake pregnancy thing, right? You can't possibly make another video out of this. Oh no, just a week later, we have another live stream called Update on Her Pregnancy with an actual ultrasound picture that they're holding in the thumbnail. How the fuck do people like this have fans? I, I just won't ever, I won't ever understand it. What's up, what's up, up y'all? Well, all right, guys, all right. So, so let's let's bring it back to where it started. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Two years ago, um, <laughs> two years ago. Uh, no, so as you know, our last live stream was talking about me possibly being pregnant. Yes. Because I was nauseous and yes. I had a lot of symptoms. A lot of pregnancy yeah. symptoms, yeah. And it ended with her pranking me, but yeah. to me. But no, at the same time, we didn't know. Yeah. You said you took a fucking pregnancy test in the last live stream. You just said it. Roll the clip. Oh. You had I mean, I've already been... taken a test and it said no. <laughs> what? I swear to God, these two are dumber than a duffel bag full of dildos. This is insanity. Right, so guys, that, uh, you know, and that whole time, even though she pranked me, I was still confident and I was like, well, no, 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 <laughs> you've had symptoms. You've been sick for a while now. So they managed to drag this live stream out for another full 12 minutes to give the big reveal, uh, which he actually, I think he does a fucking drum roll for. Hold on a second. So I peed in a cup for that. Wait, like the stream right now before we give away this answer. Let's give, some, let's give a little bit to like it, guys. Hit that like button right now. Nice. And we'll let you guys know what the, what the free kind of update that is. So smash that like button right now. Nice, yeah, don't, do, don't just tell them what they came to see. Make them sit around for 10 minutes liking the live stream before you tell them the answer that is inevitably gonna be no, she's not pregnant. I like this Wait, technique. I got an ultrasound done just in case. 
And turns out. Got a drum roll? Yes, Ready? please drum roll. Do doing? it. I'm not pregnant. She's not pregnant. <laughs> what? I don't really, you know, the skits that these couples channels do, whatever. This one in particular just felt super disingenuous and like manipulative though, like with their audience being the victims of the manipulation. It's just fucking grimy. Like look at the thumbnail they did on this one. <laughs> I don't know, man. I love YouTube obviously, but this is the side of it I fucking hate for sure. Creating pregnancies out of thin air so you can have content for your YouTube channel. Speaking of grimy, period pranks have become for some reason a popular video to do on couples prank channels like this. But the most recent one where they brought in her seven year old niece to execute this prank on Ryan, similar to the a viral video they initially had a year ago where they pretended uh, she was her kid. Uh, it seems, seems especially tasteless to me. Now, I don't like to soapbox, and I'm by no means a moral compass of what's right and wrong on YouTube, uh, but I go with my gut instincts a lot. And when I see something like this, where you're bringing in your seven-year-old niece to talk about something that's a very personal experience that every young woman goes through during pre-adolescence, right? It's a normal, natural thing to happen, but to then take that and, and use a girl that's even younger than when it normally happens to make this prank to try and go viral on YouTube, the whole idea of it just feels disgusting to me. That's my gut feeling at least. And the thing that I hate the most about the whole thing is that this is where we've devolved to. Like this is what YouTube is now. We don't stop and think about maybe this isn't something that we should post online. All we see is views and money or we do know that it's something maybe is controversial. We shouldn't post it online, but we do it anyways because of views and money. 51,000 likes to 650 dislikes. That's a killer like to dislike ratio. Maybe I am just a boomer. I don't know. You can call me old in the comments if I'm overreacting. Nothing ever changes. Stuff like this will continue to thrive and the world just keeps on spinning. And I mean, who really cares, honestly? We're all just tiny little specks of sand in an endless, expansive universe of beaches. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think about this lit prank and make sure you hip thrust that motherfucking like button if you appreciated the lit prank uh, I pulled on Nigel earlier. <laughs> Christmas coming up soon. This may be the last video that goes up before then. I hope you all have a great holidays and uh, you know, stay safe, stay well. Be blessed. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.